The elderly can be the most vulnerable in a natural disaster or emergency. One of the most visible tragedies of Irma last was the deaths of residents at a South Florida nursing home. Just awful. Today, a U.S. Senate committee took a look at the problem and addressed how to better protect senior citizens in case of a natural disaster like Irma. Channel 9's Justin Gray is live in Washington, D.C. Tonight, Justin, Congress wants to put a plan together for seniors in an emergency. Yeah, and there's already one new requirement on the way from Washington, and you rule that nursing homes have the ability, even in a disaster, even when the power goes out, to heat and cool their facilities. From these seniors waiting for rescue during Hurricane Harvey to the nine Florida nursing home residents who died from heat during Irma, the vulnerability of the elderly in a natural disaster has been front and center this month. Now on Capitol Hill, the Senate Aging Committee is looking into how to better protect seniors when disaster strikes. I can't lecture other levels of government, but I'm allowed to lecture the federal government. Senator Bob Casey and both Florida Senators Rubio and Nelson have a new bill creating a federal panel that prepares for and coordinates care for seniors during disasters. People are in nursing homes because they're sick, they're frail, they're disabled. And it's not just nursing homes. Last week I met 92-year-old Eva Johnson, who refused to leave her Jacksonville home even after several sweltering days with no power and with a tree through the roof. Have you thought about moving out of the home till all this can get fixed? No. God bless me with this home. Starting November 16th, Health and Human Services will require that all nursing homes that receive Medicare or Medicaid have an alternative power source capable of maintaining safe temperatures. People cannot be in overheated buildings um, for any length of time. Previous federal regulations required emergency power for things like lights, but didn't focus on cooling or heating buildings. And the Senate Aging Committee considered this such a time-sensitive issue that they held this hearing, even though the Senate was out of session already. They did indicate, though, that both Florida senators wanted to be a part of it, but they were already back in Florida dealing with the emergency going on still today there. Reporting live in Washington, Justin Gray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.